The Justice Department Inspector General on last Thursday issued a report on various actions by FBI and DOJ in advance of the 2016 election. The report is appalling and reveals FBI's incompetence. IG found that several FBI investigators, including former director James Comey, broke bureau protocol by using personal email accounts for official government business when they were investigating Hillary Clinton. Mrs. Clinton was under investigation because she violated rules by using her personal email account for work-related business when she was the Secretary of State. But the investigators who investigated the using of personal email account for work-related business used their own personal email accounts for work-related business. The report also determined that Comey was totally unreliable. He was accused of insubordination in keeping DOJ in dark while making key decisions. On October 28, 2016, Comey reopened the investigation of Clinton and without speaking with the then-Attorney General Loretta Lynch beforehand. Of course, Comey was not the only one who should be blamed for the chaos in DOJ. The Attorney General was up to something else. On June 27, 2016, Loretta Lynch met Bill Clinton, the husband of Democrats candidate Hillary Clinton, privately in Phoenix City. Making things worse, a FBI agent showed his anti-Trump bias in a stupid way. Peter Strzok was the lead agent on the investigation of Russia and the Trump campaign. He sent text message to his girlfriend that he would stop Trump's campaign. The law enforcement officer was persecuting an American citizen. And Mr. Strzok as an agent of intelligence community even failed to keep his text message secret. How could he end up in FBI? Is everyone in FBI just like him? That explains a lot why FBI's work is far from satisfactory. The Bureau was created to counter crimes but 2017 witnessed the bloodiest shooting in American history. 58 people died in Las Vegas. FBI also leads the anti-drug effort but an opioid crisis took place. 52,404 people died of overdose in 2015 and it was estimated that over 63,600 people died in 2016. That is to say, more lives were lost of overdose in peacetime America than the 58,318 American lives losing in the decade-long Vietnam War. American people are so unlucky that such a department is responsible for their safety. This is an epitome of America's decaying. The degenerating of the law enforcement department is caused by Washington's own corruption. Maybe Comey is right, Washington is a tribal city. Nobody there cares about the truth and the people. Politicians only care their partisan interests. After the report was issued, the Democrats and Republicans only tried to seize on different findings to buttress their long-held views about that investigation. American people are so unfortunate to be ruled by such politicians.